what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question today we're going to be talking about a question related to a data gateway and so we've talked about data gateways several times essentially a data gateway acts as a bridge between your on-premises data and the cloud or the Power BI service and so as we talk about a data gateway we're going to have to add a data source to our data gateway in order for it to identify where it's going to get that information from. There's also going to need to be a data set owner so that they have access to the data gateway and this could be either an individual person or an Azure directory group that we can add to that data source owner so that way everybody within an AD group has the availability to add data sources or manage data sources on that data gateway. And so let's take a look at our test prep question. It says that we publish a data set that contains data from an on-premise Microsoft SQL Server database. The data set must be refreshed daily. We need to ensure that the Power BI service can connect to the database and refresh the data set. Which four actions should you perform in sequence? And so with this as always we want to identify the key pieces of information here and so the first one recognizing that we have an on-premise Microsoft SQL Server database this tells us that we are going to need a data gateway so we need a data gateway to in order to access the data that's on-prem and bring it into the cloud now the second piece of information that it gives us is that the data set must be refreshed daily and so there's going to be a refresh scheduled that way it can access the latest data from that on-premise Microsoft SQL Server. And so there's several steps involved with this. The first is that we're going to have to configure a gateway and so as we look at our actions down here we have two separate options available. We have configure an on-premise data gateway or configure a virtual network data gateway. Well, it says in the question up here at the top that this is a on-premise Microsoft SQL Server database. That tells us that we are going to have to configure an on-premise data gateway. So this should be our first option is to configure the gateway. So that's going to be our first step is to configure the on-premises data gateway. Then we have our other options. What's the second step? Now there isn't necessarily a specific order that we have to follow, but we're going to think about it logically. So as we read the answer choices here, it says actions add a data set owner to the data source. So that's the first one here, add a data set owner to the data source. Well, if we put that in the second position, we have not added the data source yet. And so this would then be out of order because we have not added the data source yet. So the second step should be to add the data source. So it's important to read the answer choices and how they read is important and so we're going to add the data source. So after we add the data source we can then look to add a data set owner to the data source. So once we have it we can add the owner. And the last part of the question says that the data set must be refreshed daily and so that's going to be the last part here to configure the scheduled refresh and so we're going to refresh our data so taking a look at how these questions and how the answer choices are worded is very important as you go to take this exam so because it says add the data set owner to the data source we cannot put that step first because we have not added the data source into this sequence of events and so we're going to configure the on-premise data gateway we're going to add the data source then add the owner and finally we're going to schedule that refresh if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content i'll see you in the next one